just is so simple and so effective it's absolute magic for the body like it just speaks the body's language i love that paula it's such a great way to describe bowen therapy Welcome everybody to the Business of Bowen podcast and today we're going to be talking with Paula Johnson from Paula Johnson Holistic Body Therapy. She's in Taronga, New Zealand and I can't wait for you to listen and tune in and hear her wonderful story. Here we go. Hey Paula, welcome to the Business of Bowen. Thank you, Loretta. It's great to be here. <laughs> it's lovely to have you here. And we're going to dive into your business. We're going to dive into what really lights you up about bone therapy and all those really juicy things. But is it okay if we start with a non-barbecue fact? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, for those people who maybe don't know what a non-barbecue fact is, and Paula has had pre-warning, <laughs> um, so a non-barbecue fact is sort of maybe something about you that you might share with someone, um, but it's sort of not the surface level stuff. Like at a barbecue, we say, oh, hi, you know, I've got three kids and I live in blah, blah, blah. And, but, you know, I'd love to know something a little bit more juicier. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, a secret out of the closet. No, no that's sort of stuff. Okay. I've got a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> But Paula, I would love just to get to know you a little bit better, a little quicker. So tell us what would be your non-barbecue fact about yourself? Well, what popped into my mind as soon as I uh, read the question was, I'm writing a memoir, oh! which is something I don't normally bring up in general conversation because I'm quite a private person. <laughs> yeah, that's something that most people who have never met me before or anyone who has never met me before would have no idea that I'm in the throes of writing a memoir. How well, part of a memoir. It? Not it's not my whole life, but you no, know. No. How long? <laughs> how long has it been in the process? How long have you been doing it? Coming up. Wait for it. Ten years. Wow. It's been a long, slow process. We are now making good progress, and I was hoping to have it out published by or around about October this year because that's its actual anniversary. I started it in October two thousand and eleven. The editing is the is the nightmare, is the headache, you know, and because I'm doing so many other things and, and have a life, you know, the whole writing doesn't necessarily take priority. We're really at the nitty gritty editing side of it at the moment, and I'm just looking for someone to help me take it to the next level with the editing. So depending on how long that process is going to take, it may not make its October anniversary, but if it's not October, it will definitely be next year that it is out there in the big wide world which is super exciting and I know I'll be an absolute cock case when it finally happens because it's been <laughs> such a you know process of blood sweat and tears and thousands and thousands of hours and it's it's massive you know it's yeah. massive putting yourself out there putting your heart and soul out there for anyone and everyone to read so yeah that's my little fact I love that and does it have a working title the title keeps changing, so yes. I haven't nailed it yet, but I I'm, I'm, think I'm pretty happy with the one I've got at the moment. Yeah, so I'm not going to tell you that one yet. Oh. It, might, it might change. <laughs> it's likely to change. <laughs> oh, it's I love that. Well, now, I have like now 75,000 questions about the memoir. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's not another conversation. <laughs> So let's just jump into Bowen then. And Paula, can you tell us, can you share with us, what was your first taste of Bowen therapy? Yes, interesting, because it was actually, I came to Bowen very left field. Like I never, I didn't have um, an issue that I needed help with or anything. Didn't even, didn't know about Bowen. I never went and had body work. I was just doing office work. I was fit and healthy. I had no need to go and have any type of therapies or anything it just didn't even cross my mind but anyway I was very discouraged getting discouraged with my job and I was actually looking um, in the newspaper for a new job as you do from time to time and over the the years prior to that I had got interested in, in natural health care um, looking after my own you know long-term health so I just happened to come across the, the bit in the paper that had workshops and things like that. And yeah, the Bowen course was in there. And I'm like, what on earth is this? So I started reading it. And, you know, she said you didn't have to have any prerequisite and 
healthcare or no anatomy and physiology, but um, something you can help friends and family with and maybe turn it into a career if you want to. I'm like, hmm. And I was a bit of a workshop junkie in those days as well. So it's like, oh, this could be interesting. So I rang her up and I said, I have no idea what Bowen is. Can you please explain? Which she attempted to, as we know. <laughs> How do you explain Bowen, really? <laughs> um, and so she said, well, come and have a session. So I did. And yeah, she did these little moves on me and off she went. And she came back, she did a few more moves and off she went again. I'm like, okay, well, this is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, because like I said, I didn't actually have anything I needed fixing in apostrophes. But I was I was actually when I left her clinic, I was I knew something had changed. I knew I don't know, I felt almost it was almost I felt almost out of body. Like I knew something had changed within me. I was in this deep, peaceful place, like I was in just my own little world as I walked out and I'm like well, I'm not jumping in the car right now. So I went off and grabbed a coffee and went and sat on the beach for like half an hour. But it just put me into this beautiful space, calm space. And I'm like, wow, that was pretty amazing. And yeah, the rest is history. I signed up. I did the workshop. I was absolutely terrified. That first weekend, I was ready to hightail it and run to the other end of the country because it was too hard. You know, trying to, A, you've, I've now got, my hands on someone's body who I'd never touched anybody apart from my partner or husband at the time and here I was touching other people's bodies but I also had to try and learn this strange language called anatomy and physiology and it was like oh god I can't do this yeah so anyway that was my first experience and then I got into learning Bowen yeah things changed dramatically as I got towards the end of my training and then went off to the International Bowen Conference in Geelong back in 2004. So that, and, and we've chatted very briefly about your experience at that International Bowen Conference in Geelong. Mm. Can you tell us, what did, what did you go home feeling after that weekend? Oh my God, I was like, yeah, it was another otherworldly experience really. I, I came away from there completely filled up with so much inspiration and I was, I was just blown away by the whole experience, the whole process, the, the people that were there, the incredibly talented practitioners that were there, the people that were just sharing so much information freely and openly. And oh, I, was, I was just a complete sponge and soaked it all up. And yeah, I was sitting there, I think it was about three days long or something. And I, I mean, copious notes, like a whole blooming notebook full of notes and things. But I came away from there solidly in my heart. This is what I want to do. So goodbye office work. I want to be a holistic practitioner. So I came back to New Zealand, back to my full-time office job, marched into my manager's office and said, um, I'm going to be leaving. And this is what I want to do. They knew I had been learning Bowen because some of the staff had been my guinea pigs for my case studies. And that, of course, it was going to be a slow process to get my business up and going. So I worked for a really great company that allowed me to side to step sideways. So I, at that stage, I was assistant accountant. So I had a you know really good role. And uh, they gave me sort of six months to get up and running. And then they replaced me, but I stayed working for them part time. So I was able to still do, still have some income doing my part time office work, start building up my bodywork business. And then, I mean, I stayed working for them still, you know, for 10 years and I was still doing one day a week, but the rest of the time was doing my, my body work. So, yeah, I was really blessed to work for an amazing company that's completely supported what I was doing and what I was now passionate about. Oh, I love that. And, and obviously, you know, they could see that's where your heart was taking you and they mm. either lose you totally or they mm. could support you <laughs> Very wise on their behalf. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And um, so that experience really shifted and changed things in you coming over to the conference. I can hear you saying that. And you you went back home and you were like, "Well, my path is now clear." Mm. So so that was two thousand and fourteen. No, two thousand and four. 
She's many like, moons ago. So I've been going 17 years. Wow. I love it. I know. I thought you said 2014. I was like, oh, was it? yeah, fantastic. <laughs> so you have had your hands on many people since then, more than just I your have. partner. You have <laughs> passed that little barrier of oh, touching people. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so I'm guessing that you've got a few stories about, you know, some of the things that have happened with your clients and, and the work that you've done. And can you share any client wins with us or any client stories with us today? I've got two or three that were, have been pretty profound over those years. Probably my biggest, my biggest one would be a lovely young woman called Rebecca. She actually came to me as an aside to Bowen. I actually also learned massage. I was advised that while I was starting out to do that because it's easier to get someone in the door for a massage and then tell them about Bowen than you know the other way around so that's what I did and that was really actually great advice Um, so she actually came to me on a recommendation from a work colleague who had been one of my my regular clients to come and have a massage so when Rebecca rocked up now she was mid-20s she, you know, we did filled in the form, da 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 da. She had a whole list of different things that were, were issues, and so anyway, she she jumped on the table. As soon as I put my hands on her, like she was literally a coiled spring, like she was twitching, and just like involunt these involuntary twitches, and she was so stressed and tight as a spring, like she. I'd never seen anything like it in my life. Anyway, so I was doing the massage and and trying to, you know, ease her out of her tension nicely. Um, And we got chatting about Bowen. And so the next week she decided to come back and, well, let's give this Bowen a go. Well, long story short, she came to me, she committed to getting better. Now, she actually had chronic fatigue. So she couldn't hold down her job. Like she was working barely two half days a week which was super stressful because, you know, she loved what she was, she was doing an accounting role, but she, she had no life. You know, she could barely work. She, all she wanted to do was sleep. She slept all weekend. So we started with Bowen. And so she committed to coming and seeing me once a week and we were doing weekly sessions and I just basically threw anything and everything at her on the day we would come in. She would come in. I say, how are you feeling? You know, how was it after the last treatment? what's like flaring up today and I would then just choose whatever protocols I thought on the day so we did weekly visits for it must have been a good seven or eight months probably eight months then they went down to fortnightly visits then they went down to once a month then it was every six weeks and by the end of 12 months she was back working full-time her fiance well she got proposed to she was then engaged that following year she got married and a few months after that she got pregnant so her life returned back to full functioning normality and to this day I'm (laughs) gobsmacked she wasn't doing anything else yeah she might have been working with a naturopath for you know food or what have you but apart from that it was she was only doing Bowen so that was amazing yeah beautiful and to go from such a and as you say I can picture her body in in my mind that that tightness and that coiled spring and the so so rigid to Mm. to where she ended up that's amazing yeah tell me another one tell me another one Oh, another one's quite funny actually a dear friend of mine her daughter was having her first baby she had sciatica like pregnancy sciatica and she was just in crippled pain she couldn't get into the physio for it was in about three or four weeks so her mother had suggested we'll go and see Paula see what she can do so she rocked in here and to see me and she said well you know I don't know about this Bowen thing I don't know if you're able to help me or not and I said oh we'll give it a go so got her on the table and I did the pelvic on her and she was lying there on her back after I'd finished and she said Hmm. well that's odd I said what she said well the pain sort of moved to the other side and I'm like oh isn't that interesting so that was all right and carried on and finished off the moves and then she got up off the table very gingerly because she was you know in this pain she was used to moving around very gingerly she got off off the table and she started walking around and she's looking a bit perplexed and I said what's the matter she said where's it gone I said what do you mean where's it gone she said my pain it's gone what have you done well, how did you do that <laughs> it's like it was so gorgeous <laughs> it's 
like you you hit it on her and you popped it under the table or something. <laughs> yeah. Where did you put it? Where did you put it? Uh-uh. But the the beautiful sto- continuing story with this. I mean, she went on and had another two children, no problem at all. And this was years ago, but she messaged me last year because I moved away from the area. And she messaged me and she said, I just thought you'd like to know. She said, I did go back and have Bowen with someone else once you'd moved. Um, she had some other issues. I can't remember what that was now. But she said, I thought you'd like to know. I'm going to do my training in Bowen therapy because it's so amazing. Oh. So that's just awesome. Yeah. He is awesome. Oh. Yeah. So I'm so excited. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh wow. You got some great stories. Is there is there anything else just that you'd like to share with us? Um another story perhaps. There's one. I, I can't give you a foregone conclusion with this one, unfortunately, but this guy came and saw me. God, I can't even remember that. That's naughty. Oh, you know, well, that would be 10 years ago, actually, because it was around the time of the, um, it was just before the Christchurch earthquake, the big one. Yeah. I wasn't living in Christchurch. I was in Wellington. But this guy came and saw me and he said, look, I don't know if you're able to help me. He said, I've been going to the chiropractor every week for the last two years for, to adjust. And I self-adjust myself at home. So he had really quite bad neck shoulder issues. And he said, you know, out of desperation, I'm just trying something else. So I said to him, well. Can I just bite in for one second? Yes. How many times have you heard that sentence? Yes. Over and over? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Yeah, Sorry, go on. So I said to him, well, you're going to think I'm doing nothing. Honestly, after you've been going to chiropractic for two years, (laughs) when when I do the bowing on you, you're going to wonder what on earth I'm doing. Like you're going to think I'm sitting there having a cup of tea or something. So anyway, we went through the process and I just did the BRMs on him and we finished and yeah, he got up again and he said, yep, well, that was different. <laughs> I said, well, you know, it's it's a process and it works quite profoundly. Um, let's just see how you go this next week. So I booked him in for the following week. He arrived and next week I opened up the door to him and he had this most big beaming smile on his face and it was like a completely different man and I said oh hi how are you he said I have no idea what you did but I can't believe the result he said I have not had to self-adjust myself at all this week until this morning wow Wow, that's great you know so we did another session on him Um, and unfortunately then the Christchurch earthquake happened and he had to go down to Christchurch to help you know for work so I have no idea I hope he found someone down there to carry on with the Bowen but hell after one week that result after him being crunched by a chiropractor for two years I was wrapped (laughs) I bet bet he was wrapped too yeah I know so I would I would love to know I mean you know I haven't got his details now to check in he'd probably wonder who this random woman was <laughs> contacting him anyway. I remember me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you probably say, yes, I do. Yeah, maybe. So, oh. yeah, that was that was quite a, a good one as well. <laughs> and, Paula, you know, if the world was your oyster, what would you love people to know about Bowen? Just how, how simple and profound it is. Like every now, like every week I will say to a client after I've done a move, and particularly, you know, I, I love the the boomerangs up around the shoulders. That's, that is my absolute favorite move because I'll do that move and they'll be really tight up around the shoulders and I'll usually then repeat it. And it's like repeating it on butter, you know, it's so now soft. And, um, or I'll do a little tweak at the end and I'm like, this just, it still blows me away. I said, this stuff blows me away. I don't know how it works, but it just is so simple and so effective it's absolute magic for the body like it just speaks the body's language so Tom's a miracle man he really is that's amazing and yeah. I, I love that it speaks the body's language mm. to get put on a t-shirt yeah. <laughs> I might have to patent that <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been such a delight to to chat, Bowen, to hear your story and hear the story of your clients. Thank you so much for your time and your joyousness. It's just been delightful and it's just been great having you on the Business of Bowen. It's been great to be here. Thank you so much, Loretta. Thanks, Paula. Bye. Bye.